I'm Larry Soa, Lauren Soa. Uh, the family line is so long. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm related to everybody in here, man. <laughs> uh, as a family, what we do is we say, um, the Fleming, So, Clarkston, Joseph, Van Tepul, Richard Sands, Smets, you name it. We are connected. But uh, my presentation is unlike many because I will read so, and I will leave the document here. The purpose of this presentation is to share with you the joy and pleasure which I have received from the opportunity to be connected to my family in Ghana, the Dominican Republic, Panama, and Cuba. Ever since childhood, my desire to find my family was my quest. My mom, Mrs. Luna Ayanta Lambert Fleming Claxton, often told my brother Alexander Fleming Joseph and I of our family who were located around the globe. I vowed that I would find them. Fortunately, my creator has afforded me that opportunity. My grandfather, Willie Fleming, William Fleming, cousin to my friend over here, <laughs> who was also my godfather, that's G-U-R, G-U-A-R, the protector, not G-O-D. <laughs> gave me the name Bambwe. I'll respond to that. I'm the only one in the family that was given a Ghanaian name, but it wasn't explained to me as to the meaning, the meaning of the name. Being African by nature, the name generated a quest to find from whence I came. All my images to include those of my teenage years were of Africa. The fence of the Orsons Church was spears. Have you noticed how they're shaped? I would imagine my brother Al and I using them to fight the imaginary lions. <laughs> High school was no different. I was the only student speaking of being of Africa. I was practically the laughing stock. Nothing has changed. <laughs> Upon graduating from high school in June of 61, I attended the I entered the U.S. Air Force on October 19th, the same year. Faith followed me, for I received my first overseas assignment to Tripoli, Libya, North Africa. Today they call it Middle East. Upon completing basic training, my tour of duty was from January 1st, 1962 to April 19th, 1964. Being there afforded me the opportunity to physically touch the land of black people spoken of in the Bible and my high school books. Most importantly, I received appreciation from, for my name, unlike in the U.S. You know, they say, when you hear it, they say, sword, I, like manhole, I had to put ancestry to, 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 to task with that. Okay? But in Libya, whenever I said my name, as was done in St. Saint, Saint John, we say, the Libyans interpreted as Saud, which so is Saud. I paid no attention, I'm sorry, I paid no immediate connection until I returned from home. Returned home in 1969, then later when I became a member of the Puerto Rico Air National Guard. Connected with family there enabled me to revisit all the information which my mom shared with my brother and I. Again, thanks to Ron Harrigan, who asked me to accompany him to Cuba in July 2015. And January 2016, I have been connected to my Cuban family, of both my grandmother, Romelia Lambert Francis Fleming of Santiago de Cuba, and cousin Emil Soa of St. John. I will now discuss photos that you will, have, you will see, and there's a brief inside that's too. The first that you see, again, um, by going to Ghana in 2006, connected with family, I was there to a conference on HIV AIDS, indigenous knowledge, and medicine. And two thirds of the, first of all, a lady from Jamaica and myself, we were the only two from the Caribbean region among 400 people worldwide. And that's how I was able to be reconnected again in Zimbabwe. That, that, that was a spark to that. What you will see is my family bloodline come from the Ghana Dang Bay. And if you notice the the name Soa, most people don't think that 
probably names come with them. I call it a bondage ship. So people call it slavery as their own choice. But Shinori in particular, you have the Sweeney's, they are Ghanaian names of the Ga ancestry, Richardson to my cousin here. And who else? Everybody. Ah, I see by you. My prima over there. She's a moron now. No, no, I'm sorry, she's a moron now. But <laughs> you can go up online and find this because it's not only good when you're doing genealogy and looking in books, you have to go to the source and you will have track. I was putting a book together like three years ago. I got the three chapters and I said, man, by coming down the line, tens of Facebook, okay? Because that's the continuation to my book because I post a lot of these things. I'm on Facebook, as Larry saw on Facebook. And there were the Sweeney's, the Shinneries. What I did, I sent the telephone directory to my buddies over in Ghana and they were able to, from the directory, tell me all the names of Ghana related, mm -hmm. okay? So that, that's a quest that I have to go. So this here tells you exactly who, who came and how profound all of our family names are until such times where things happen and we tend to forget. Next slide, please. Okay, shifting. Dominican Republic, 1990, I was fortunate to, to go there because again, keeping in, in sync with my mom, I said, I will find a family, I went there, and that's when I got connected to our family down in the Dominican Republic. This is in particular important to me because there were children then, they're grown now. This young lady is now accompanying her mom here. What I used to do, Again, following the trend with my mom. Education never stopped. Always, wherever I went, I always impart the knowledge of English to the, to the children. So that's one of the, the group. And, and being my cousin and I, we would go 500 miles to visit these children because the parents were here and until they got the status cleared. So since I had freedom of movement, I would go. And my cousin and I will be the only ones with five, six, eight children in, in our family. And we go to ice cream parlors and such. They're now in the public, the early 19s or 20s. Next slide, please. Okay, this is very important. You do genealogical work. Some years ago, I believe it was three, four years ago, the VA government partnered with Ancestry.com to come up, come up with a program wherein you'll be able to find family relationship on the slave ship. I don't know what happened from the PIN, but I continued and have the program on my computer. In these boxes, you can put in any name, and if it's original, it will come up as to the manifest on the slave ship. On here, I can leave it. Stop with you, okay? You'll see the family name Soa, S O W H. But when I look through the, the site from since we're also connected with Cuba, S O A and S O W H, they're all Ghanaian names. Uh, the, the, the Spaniards left Cape Coast to go to all part of their places where they, they control. Santiago de Cuba was no less. The last year with Ron and I it was 500 years anniversary of the landing of the Spaniards in Santiago de Cuba. Our family name Soa is still there, S-O-A. And then you will have seen now, it's into Suarez, and it's into S-E-W-E-R. Next slide, please. My connection from my mother's side. This is Romelia Lambert Francis Fleming. My grandfather, William Fleming. My uncle, James Fleming. He's, he's alive, yes, but he, he suffered a stroke a year after my mom passed. So it's a good thing I learned all this information because my brother Al and I, we don't even want to have this information even as children and are privileged by that we have it. My, get to my right next. This is my mom, 
Luna. You know him as Bill Fleming. The little baby is my younger Herbie. This is the key player here. That's my aunt. She passed too. But her name was Ida Matilda Fleming. No one knew at this time, my brother and I, the connection to Ida and Matilda. It wasn't until I went to, ah, she's right here. Thanks to my children, mom, Ruby. Ruby shared with me some information like three years ago. I didn't know things would happen, but it wasn't until a kid, this is a key player, learn to know Ron. Ron is a dynamic guy. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Because if it wasn't for him, I was going to go to Cuba anyway. But the way they say, hey, we're going, and it, it so happened he and I, of all the people he invited, he and I were the only ones who went. So I was able to find out why my aunt was named Ida. Because Romelia, mom, was Ida. I was able to find out why Ida was named Matilda. Because Ida, mom, was Matilda who was mother, you know him as Rothschild, but his name was Leopoldo Francis. Now, Francis, that's the last name for him. So Francis was not his father's name. No. Figure it out. You know, we are Caribbean people, okay? So this is very important to me here because the whole, I'm a third generation of these folks. And again, fortunately for this lady here who told us as to where our people are, you know, and speeding up Facebook, a lot of people will talk against whatever media. Our people don't like to read, but face is face. And that's my university. I have now linked all the families, including Italy, because there's so much in Italy too. Italy, Panama, Santo Domingo, you name it, Cuba, everybody now talking with each other. So you don't have to worry about getting a, what we call, probably reunion. Uh, we are a nation of people that we have to use the media to, to help us get this much better across. Next, please. Uh, you, you want to tell them the way she was born? Or? Yes, thank you. Again, with the document that Ruby gave me, my grandmother was born in Santiago de Cuba. Uh, you will probably see that the shipping manifest here. They have my grandmother listed as Elia. <laughs> Work a lady, you know? Both she, her mother, and her mother, coming out of Santiago de Cuba. I can't remember the ship right now, but the manifest has the ship, and they left from Santiago de Cuba to Puerto Rico to come to the BI. Next. The, all this here is, um, we were fortunate again to do a presentation recently, so that's just to show you what we have done. Next. Dominican Republic Connection. This is us, what my brother Carlos and I we have done. All the young ones in the family, we make it a point for them to connect, all right? This is Carlos' son. He's now living in St. John. He's been, he was done in Santo Domingo for three years now. He went, he went to high school, you probably know him at the BCB. But what we, like I said, we have done, we have gotten all the young ones in our family now. And you notice there's always food. Wherever we go, we always eat it, okay? <laughs> but that's what we have done. Like I said, my, my studies are different from many. I like to touch. I talk to Cuba every day. I talk to San Domingo every day. Um, I talk to my cousin in Italy. Uh, thanks to Messenger, you know, it don't cost too much. Okay, I talk to Ghana every day. So like I say again, it's not just knowing your family, you have to physically touch and talk. All right, next. Again, continuation of, of, of the youth in the family in Santo Domingo. Next. Very important to me, 2006, when I attended a conference, I am the first of the family SOA with the CWR to actually be connected with the family in Ghana. And you, you, my, my, my voice is breaking up because I lost him last month. When we first met, 
we cleanse our fingers like this and we say we'll never be separated again because again at last oh when I went there they thought I just got there to the conference they say how you know to speak our language I said it was 300 years ago they thought I was lying okay but again this they were the head of our family clan the source in, in Ghana next oh before what you see here is the initiation of me getting back into the family that you want to see I will never again I will never take it off because that's how connected we are next the, the soul name, SOA, direct descendant of Juan ba Bautista Martinez, Juan Martinez Bautista Soa. The Martins are my family too. Okay. <laughs> From the Soa side, Philip Martin Soa. That's a right, we all are connected. But in this case, he's pointing to an instrument here. This instrument is called La Corneta China. Being a musician, a clarinetist in particular. He took a Chinese flute, put on a soprano sax bell on the bottom, and used an oboe mouthpiece, okay? It has a different sound. So in the Spanish songs that you'll be hearing when, uh, when you hear this high pitch mm -hmm. on the La Bonita China, it's the national instrument in, in Santiago de Cuba right now. And his name is Adolfo Soa, SOA. A brief thing, when he, Ron and I went to the museum and I heard them speaking as to, because in, in Cuba the museums control the carnival, all the good history. So I, I, I heard the lady giving a narrative and she mentioned Ron Martinez Baptista, so I said, what? <laughs> when she found out, she called on the phone to him, I didn't know he was next door. So now she's spelling my name, S-E-W-R, on the phone, eh? Oh, we're not connected. So I told her in Spanish, do we have the phone? And I told him where to go, that he must come. And I intentionally sat where we were facing each other. When he came in, I saw my face, he cried, okay? Because again, genealogy is not just written, our facial characteristics, that's our history. In, in the FBI, they use this thing called a fingerprint. With us as the black people, this is it, black Anna, you know? Next. 2015, this lady, Norka, she's the official point of contact that you have to check whenever you're going into Santiago Cuba or even Havana. Her name is Norka Suarez, Suarez, my cousin. She didn't, well, well we got off the plane and I'm telling her she's my cousin. First time she saw me, you know, my cousin. But it wasn't until she saw Adolfo and I, because she knew Adolfo, she said, oh, I have a sore to us, I know. Next. <laughs> Here again, obituary, I always kept in contact, and still in contact with Ghana. I met this gentleman, my family, when I was in 2006, and one thing with our family in Ghana, Nobody take care of us. The net, the, the marine thing are nothing on us. We take care of our dead and our living together. Next. Still Cuba related, okay? Just like how you will see Leopoldo Francis across from the post office. Cornelius Frederick Ajete, my family member. I was telling Ron earlier, I'll come to him dying but he was killed, basically. That's how Nkrumah became president of Ghana. 1948, death of revolution. And his death sparked that whole revolution. Next. And this is the description that you will see. The government did this. Next. And the family did this. Next. Back to Cuba again. I showed you Norca. This is Rene, not the husband. Oh, dynamic people for you to meet. Because um, when things may seem difficult, once you make contact with these people in particular, you met Rene, huh? No, I no, just you know how it works. Okay, okay, this is how it. Next. 
Ah, Cuba in particular. This is the store side. I saw you the Lambert and Fleming side. How many of you know Mr. Creaky, the, the piano, who used to teach music? Well, his wife was my cousin, Leonie. She was my cousin. And Emil was her brother. At the time when we had Panam, again, I get, oh man, start up Ruby, you gotta start up there. Listen, man, <laughs> man uh, Ruby, know what I've been doing? I'm being connected with this agency. You see, I gotta tie things, you know, it's, 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 it's an explosion. She sent me information because she heard me speaking about certain things, and it was as a result of this agency right here that I, I became connected. This is Emil, this is his son, who is the dad, as well. Emil is the, good, the grandfather of, of, of my cousin, his of Luis Alberto Soa. You see the name, still continue, okay? Thanks. Again, food, wherever you see us. This is my cousin, um, the grandson of, of, of Emilio Alberto. We were having lunch. This is 2015, right? Eh? Next. Ruby, remember I was telling you, look at his face, look at her face. Look at who's face. Tell me, this is the Harley. Oh, yeah. Tell <laughs> um, that instrument that he's playing there, it's similar to like the pipe organ, mm -hmm. is the only one of its kind in the Western Hemisphere. And it still is active. You think you're hearing a symphony when, when, when it's being played. This is in Santiago and the, the, the park room, not too far from where we stay. Next. Ah, this lady, a profound lady. Come to find out after we had lunch in the house, She's related to my lady, Velma, she's a Henry. Okay, so, when I entered the door, she like she had a spiritual connection. She didn't want me to sit, no other place but next to her, you yes. to sit yeah. next to her, right? It was the first time in their house that they, they spoke English. Royal guy said, but Buenos Dias, her husband said, okay, <laughs> you don't have to do all of that to me that I speak English. <laughs> It was the first time in about, I would say, over 60, 70, 80 years that they actually had an English conversation in the household. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They said, what I'm seeing here, like, it may seem detached, but it's intact. You just don't look at things right. You have to talk with people, even the, the folks in our presence, okay? When I came home, I used to go to the Queen Louise home and all these other places and talk with the elders. That's why this brain of mine is so, so great, you know? Next. Excuse me, Mom. Yes, ma'am. This, this, this lady here. Yeah. She looked like you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talk, I'm sorry. The originator of Cuba. Huh? So from here and then they went to Cuba. Great question. I know we see later, but Cuba. Mm -hmm. At least 40-50% of the people from mm -hmm. out of Haiti, Jamaica, St. Kitts, even here, all right? But mostly Jamaica, all right? And the, you call it culture, you call it a way of life. It's more personal for me, you know? Because wherever I go, it's where I live, all right? But when I see the food, I know it's mine. Okay? When I see a smile, I know it's mine. But to answer your question, the founder of Jamaica. Next. This is my cousin, Alberto, wife, Nuria. Nuria speaks like seven or more different languages, all right? Somebody she, she is an instructor in the hotel tourism yes. institute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, 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 she yeah. teaches uh, Cubans how to speak English several languages. Yeah. And not only sure. that, ethics of, of, of being in, in the occupation, okay? Yeah. Yeah. That should be continued at another point. Um, most important thing, aside from my mature, this flag here, the BF flag, was there two weeks before the US flag was officially raised. 
ok unless they're the eagle you know that's a chicken huh? oh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Ransom huh? that's Ransom run who this is my cousin then you back the rat? Yes, me. Does he look like you? Oh, this guy here, that's right, man. That's right. That's what I'm saying. He's a boy look just like him. But that's him. That's the man. Okay, next. And that's that's us. This group, a folklore group, is another group we should like to have here. Yeah. They, they never went to Kumba. There was another group. And uh, that's, that's, that's us. We want to come up the jazz club in the area, right? Jazz club, right? Yeah, yeah. Next. And again, um, music going in our family. Alberto, he's a colguero to colguero, some of you play congas, you know? And this is a top of the line for some of the line. Okay, four. Top of the line. And, you know, the band played the following week or so after we had lunch there. Next. And again, uh, here's see the VI sparkling again. Okay, wherever I go, two things I always carry with me: uh, VI presence and my product, Juno Bell product. Okay, because they're, they're made here. Where we standing on? This is the same place that the Pope went because it's the Basilica, mm -hmm. not too far from there. So we were there before the Pope, right, man? <laughs> 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 and again, um, this is a. Uh, I'm sorry that my family, the Creekies, weren't here, but again, I, huh? all of this stuff I have on Facebook, so, you know, I'm going to leave You're saying thing. the Creekies aren't here, Marilyn is here. You here? I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is uh, Emilio's wife, okay? And this is uh, Minerva's daughter. I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry. Go ahead. And the name, the name, the name, oh, my God. Help me, help me, help me. Uh, Henley. You know Lou Henley, them? Yeah. They're my family, them too. Oh, yeah. But you see in Spanish, they say Henley. You know, because the A is the A sound, right? And, and here's the man himself, uh, Mr. Soa, man. Next. Okay. I did this for a reason to show how, again, when, you, when you're researching names, may sound different and spell differently. But there's another document coming and rocking in the wind that will give you the profound way of spelling. You know this, they have S E U R, like Peter Soa. Hello for, for you, yeah, that was my cousin, okay? Next. And I put this document here to show that, again, you will see the S E W E R, so it's the same person. And these are the things you have to cross-reference when you're doing genealogical research and work. Next. In my case, I did it from a physical end. And then, you know, because again with our face, and then I go to the books, you, you have to shift. You just cannot be, you know, in concrete. Not only is this my cousin, but you see these three stars here, Marcel, Santiago, big history. Santiago was the place and our people again from the Caribbean who fought the Spaniards, they have to take that bus up of our Teddy Roosevelt up, got to take it down. It was the people of Santiago that liberated all of Cuba from, from Spain. And then it was Santiago, along with Fidel was born in Santiago, his family was born in Santiago, that took the place away from Bautista, who was a puppet for the U.S. We all know that. Next. This is the area again in, in Cuba where Ron, it was Ron, Senator Jackson, and Gus Dowling. I stayed up the road to, not too far from where they were. The, the place where they still you know, swing you. Ron is giving the same type of presentation that I'm doing here because he used my butt, my butt, my cousin Alberto and I as living proof that family members were connected. But in particular here, this is my cousin, Rovere Mensa. I want to put the name down here, put a Manasseh. 
the name was actually Mensa because Manasa, Raymond M, who Francis, my cousins, he was born in Santiago de Cuba. Next. <coughs> my cousin Al Alberto is talking to the, the group as to how we got connected. Next. Again, same, same setting. In this case, we don't need to move there. In that case, Alberto was speaking in English and I was speaking in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> so we all cross references. My cousin and Norga husband, Rene, in his hands, at the same time, he has my products, the jewel of the eyes product, to include the capsules and stuff. So again, you know, when I move, I move VI Force and products of the VI Force. Next. My cousin, uh, Rovere, uh, Kenya, that's the madrina, the godmother for his children. Kenya works at Casa de, 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 de Caribe. Next. And Casa de Caribe is the, the place where, similar to here, you want any kind of information, that's, that's the point of contact that you go. Again, food again. This is my cousin Andrew out of Guantanamo. The Andrews of St. Croix. Excuse me? Oh. The Andrews out of St. Croix are connected to the, to the Flemings as well. Okay. This was our first meeting. Now, we stayed at the same place. But it was not till we had a discussion that we found that we were not only family, but his family is all the same Croy. All right? I understand that he's the vice president of the organization. You could yeah, have... In, uh, this gentleman here is the, the vice president of the West Indian Society in Guantanamo. That is, uh, and we visited the headquarters in Guantanamo when we were there with the steel band. Steel band and uh, they treated us really well. They were, they were really excited about us being there. So he has a long name. He's, his name is... is uh, Jorge Thomas Nelson Andrews. <laughs> and well, it, all English names. All yes, English, yes. All and in Guantanamo, you will find so too, because I saw it in the newspaper, my cousin only went. He was embracing a lady, right? And I told her, oh, I said, when you go there, tell the people who you are. He's embracing this lady. <coughs> in the news clip, you see him, they went. And you see the lady named Sua. I say, well, oh, you will have to take it next time, because again, genealogy. Don't be afraid to talk. Sometime, whatever comes up might be distasteful, but hey, there's a reason for the madness, okay? <laughs> Next. Andrew and his sister, she lives in uh, Santiago, and it so happened she had come to visit him while I was in the same place at the same time, and that's how we got connected again. The Andrews are also connected to um, Mikey for Petit Pum I had to tell him when I came back that he's my cousin. Yeah, we have white in the family too, so that's the big thing, you know. Yeah, we do, we do. The McDonald's and Kekatops and all of them, okay? Next. Oh, and I go, you've done a French town. You all know Lawrence Oli, right? Mm -hmm. That's my cousin, my mother was a sewer. Mm -hmm. Next. Important place, this is the National Cemetery of Santiago de Cuba. In here, you have everybody. You've heard of Jose Mati. Mm -hmm. He's buried there. The famous poet. Yeah, he was, he was there, Santiago too. But this, this grave in particular, next slide you'll see more profoundly. Yes. Brief history. I thought I used to see my mother talking to my cousin who used to work in the post office. I thought he was connected to me through the source of St. John. Again, thanks to the lady over there, it, it all fell true, you know, because you know them as Lambertes. You know the sons of arms in the legislature? Yeah. So, yeah, that's my cousin too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is their Jose Martí Rotunda area. Every day at 11 o'clock, they have children of the guards. Something that you, you need to see. And you know the senator here. She was the translator for him. Next. Where are we here? That's not a good one to make 
no, 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 it's, it's, okay, good. You know, if we, um, anybody connected to the Bantapos in here, raise your hand. All of you are, but you don't know it. <laughs> the Bantapos. You all should know that. <laughs> No. See, uh, when I was teaching, that's how I taught in the classroom. Everybody had to become involved. We were end up there first in my classroom. <laughs> this group here is it is to 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 Kumba, right? Yes. Um, with the help of, of of the government and and record in particular, um, I just hope that they come here. This lady here, you saw the elderly lady I was sitting with. Mm -hmm. That. This is her mom. She's a Henry. This this picture I uh, printed yesterday, and I gave to Miss Abramson. She said, "But Larry, look at our face." I said, "Yeah." Again, a lot of people don't know it. Jamaica is a key place for for actually chicken family ties, too, okay? Because uh, the English were in Jamaica. They were in Ghana, Cape Coast, the Spaniards, because Jamaica was a province of Spain. So Cape Coast, they all came from there. They either came from Christianburg Castle, uh, Cape Coast in particular, okay? Next. Next time I go, I'm gonna have to take my grandson, this chest champ. <laughs> and I know, I know Rafi will enjoy being there playing chess, next. Again, food. <laughs> That's us, I'm a lipstick. Okay, Santo Domingo. This is my nephew, uh, Carlos Sol Jr. This is his graduation, he just graduated the other day. He's, he, he's here now, out of high school. Sometimes, you know, people say that young people don't listen to, to adults' guidance, but I told him, you know he had to come up, and I told him, get all your documents, especially from the school that you graduated from, all translated in English. So that once you get up, he won't have any problem. Knock on wood, everything is good. He's now working with my nephew on, on the, the, the Captain Big, on you know, the Island Big Bash. But dynamic ball player, okay? So his goal is to also help the young ones here too, because a lot of the folks who went to EBO and Eudora Ken, they all knew him because he went to school from a little kid here, from EBO school all the way to, to BCB. This is our first picture we took when Ron and I we were going well, from Miami to Santiago, Cuba. We didn't know that we were in the midst of the National Ballet, Folklore Ballet Group. Okay, it wasn't until later on down the line, once we were on the ground, Everything started happening. Again, my cousin, he's a VIA to the max, okay? And that's how we must be. Wherever we go, we have, we just can't just say we are nice. We have to be nice to we, you know? <laughs> Next, let me put it in there. Okay, where we have here? That, this to so the, forth. to the Fortaleza. The same motto, the same more that built the castle in Santiago, did the castle like in Puerto Rico, okay? Here we have Adolfo, his wife, I don't know who the guy is, okay? Okay, guys, this is Emil, and this is Minerva here. Next, again, Adolfo and his son. So here you go. You have SOA, 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 and SCW, I'm saying protected family. Again, music is in us. Wherever I went, I would be in the, in the park playing music with the people, you know? And that's what we have to do. We have to interact, you know? You can't go to a place and you know, America, only, the flag only fly here, okay? We are VI people, we are cordial people, so you have to explain, express that. This is Minerva, sister to Alberto. She lives in Panama now. What you see here is when Ron and I, we were to the legislature speaking as to our purpose of being here. Again, here you find the, you will always see that instrument in any carnival display. 
because it's the official instrument, mm -hmm. right? Excuse me, Ranski, yeah, over yeah. a document that had some family yes. things on it. Yes, yes. Go the, back. That one there. Yes, this is what will be shared with me. Oh, man, you Okay. And do you know, you see the word aliens there? I hate that word. Hello, it never existed, man. But you see, sometimes we get caught up in these things, all right? But uh, so it's a domain of it, okay? Just to move from here to my foot, okay? And then here you will see what they say. You see how they classify the people around um, you know, servant and wash that is, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> And unfortunately, we are the people we take on this foolishness. And then when people throwing stone at us, people laughing, you know. But this is a very important. Again, Aida. All right. And the most important thing you will see the Lambert, the Francis. And it's important. Next. I'm summarizing it now. <coughs> what you will have seen basically is just information that leads up to whatever we like to find. Documentation is the key. That's, that's why I put it there. It's not just good enough to write, but documentation that, that somebody somebody can go to in the family and they will have found it. This is Santo Domingo, my second time, 1994. Again, this is the family. So, my brother Carlos, my cousin Melkis. These are my, my mother, my uncle. These are the, the niece and nephews, great niece and nephew and stuff like that. Sheen, from the source Sheen, Alba Sheen, the Sheen and St. Croix, connected to us as well. And Roberto, this is, oh man, about 15 years ago. His son is now a dentist as well. He's a dentist. So if you, if you want to go to San Domingo and you need, and you can. <laughs> I got a plug, you know. Jose, <laughs> Jose was dad to Roberto. He was a sore, and his mother was a sheen. This gentleman was in a, the symphony, Trujillo Symphony Orchestra out of, of San Pedro, okay? And he was a cellist, next. When I went, first went to San Domingo in 1990, I got in contact with the family. Everybody grown and uh, however now in life, you know? So these are just out of, out of, out of the you could, you could cut it up. But basically, uh, what's happening here? Okay, this is important. This is not a Cuba. I don't, you can go up on, the, on your own search engine and look for our name, profoundly based. We were in everything, everything. And, you know, this just give you, again, see the name that's there, it's important. So no matter, I'm just summarizing now, you okay? Because, well, I'm summarizing. Here, oh God, 2006, this is the family shack, in the hotel, Novotel in, in, in Ghana, all right? And then, go to the name, then to the name, where you'll see again, so Oh, that was the end of the end. Yes, okay. But I, again, this is not just me, but I took a different route, but we still did the same thing. Sometimes you may think that you hit a brick wall, just tell the wall to move. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Know. Again, thanks for viewing and listening. I appreciate being here, and thanks again to everyone. It was a pleasure being with him. Oh, yeah.